In this video, I'm looking at the electrophilic addition mechanism, and it's the reaction between bromine and ethene. So we'll start out with an ethene molecule and a bromine molecule. When the bromine molecule is quite far away from the ethene, it is obviously non-polar because the electronegativities of these two bromine atoms are the same. So the electron pair is right in the middle of that bond. However, when it gets closer to the ethene, and in particular this double bond, which is a region of high electron density, it's going to repel the electrons in this bond down towards this bromine. And what that does is it polarizes the molecule and we get a slight positive charge on the top bromine, one nearest the carbon-carbon double bond, and a slight negative charge on the bromine furthest away. So now we've got the dipole on the bromine molecule, there'll be a, an attraction between the pi electron pair in the double bond and this bromine. And so we show that with this curly arrow. So a pair of electrons come out of the bond and um, go towards this bromine. What that does is it repels the electrons in the bond, the electron pair in this bond, completely onto the bromine. And obviously that breaks the bond and it's by heterolytic fission. And that's because the bromine at the bottom here receives both of the electrons from the bond. This one receives none of them. So the product's not quite formed yet. What we end up with is this positively charged ion, and that's referred to as a carbocation. And I'll just explain the positive charge on the carbon. So if we think about this pair of electrons here, one of them belong to this carbon, the other one belong to this carbon. That's now a bond to this bromine, so it's this bond here. This carbon still has that electron. This carbon's lost it because it's over in this bond now. So that's where the positive charge comes from. The bromine has gained an electron, and so it's a Br- ion. And then I'm sure you can work out what's going to happen next. The pair of electrons on the Br- ion are going to be attracted to that positively charged carbon like so, and form a covalent bond between the bromine and the carbon. And so we get our product, 1,2-dibromoethane. Why is it called electrophilic? Well, it's because it involves an electrophile. The electrophile is this bromine here, because it is accepting a pair of electrons. Why is it called addition? Well, a nice easy way to remember addition reactions, two reactants become one product. 